Hello everybody, this is Matt, bringing you an update for the week of July 16th, 2012. How are you guys doing? This week's channel is IMAC Get Me Subscribers, and they are a channel that is hosting a contest in which YouTubers compete over a number of challenges. Welcome to I'm a YouTuber. Get me subscribers. This channel is actually responsible for royalty free music number 78 if this were an actual emergency and they have kicked off this contest here in this month uh, so if you like what you have seen give their channel a visit and you, if you like what they're doing please subscribe to them. So I am finally back from my vacation. I spent a good long two weeks in what is known as the state of Idaho, that really weird state that is just east of Washington. Um, there's a lot of prairie there, there's a lot of mountains there, and a little bit of people there, but not very many people. But it's still a pretty state, it's kind of weird going back there, but I enjoyed exploring the place once again to see what was changing and maybe relay some of the weird experiences to you guys. I don't know, I was in a weird mood the last couple weeks with the Prism song, and then I made that, that one song, that Down Temple song, and then somebody, uh, you know, asked me to remix that into more of a dance song, and it turned out pretty well. Um, but I am very glad to have my monitors back so I don't have to use my headphones all the time mixing because that was kind of a chore to do. But in any case, I wanted to basically mull over a couple videos that I watched recently for one of them from one of my subscribers and I'm actually subscribed to her as well. Her name is Kelrick and also WoW Crendor, who is a very famous YouTuber that does WoW videos as well. Uh, in those two videos, I'm going to link these two videos down below. Um, there's a lot of understandable anxiety over a new YouTube layout that was unveiled this week or last week. A few people's front pages changed to this new layout, and there's a bunch of changes that seem to get in the way of the progress of a small YouTuber and the most major thing is that they have actually put the recommended videos which previously was at the right side of your screen into your feed and what this does is dilute the number of subscriptions that you can actually see in your feed but then also they lumped in all the actions like likes and, and, and favorites and subscriptions made by people that you've subscribed to and well and it just it puts everything in a place where people feel that it shouldn't be and I totally understand this I I've been back and forth about whether the most recent design changes that have been implemented on us regarding the front page and our channels have been a good or a bad thing. Because if you don't rem if you don't remember, like two or three years ago, top YouTubers were basically clogging up every category on YouTube. It wasn't like, even though the old page was better and had more options for you to look at, the problem was that top YouTubers were clogging up every category with stuff that wasn't even related to the category that they were in. So much so that YouTube had to threaten them to basically put them into place and not hog all the spotlight. One of the top YouTubers that I'm personally subscribed to is Freddy Wong. And he's made a number of videos trying to advise other people of how to get more subscribers and a loyal fan base that sort of thing and of course one of the things that he mentioned was to have a regular schedule releasing videos on regular schedules with the other thing that 
they mention, not directly to their audience, but um, in terms of interviews and, and, and people asking them questions, is that they've mentioned number, a number of times that they have tried to get outside support outside of YouTube. Uh, for instance, one of the big things that got them going was the cycling of their videos through different blogs um, who cover video games. And this is because that they focused their their initial videos on videos like uh, on on video games like Modern Warfare 3, uh, Portal, and such videos that would get the attention of outside bloggers instead. And I think this is where a lot of people need to focus, especially when it's obvious that YouTube has no community to get things out there anymore. It seems like what YouTube has done is basically dismantle all aspects of the YouTube community, um, which includes video responses, channel comments, and, and to a lot of respects, comments in general. So I understand a lot of people's frustration with YouTube, but at this point, I mean, I've been on the forums. And it doesn't seem like YouTube even cares about what the people have to say. Um, that that feed glitch, where everything uh, everything the f is in the feed, and, and the the recommended videos are in the feed. That actually happened once before. They actually did that with the current design, where they dumped all the recommended videos into the feed, and people had a hissy fit. You would, you would have thought that they would have learned by then that that was not a good idea to do, but yet, according to Wild Crendor's video, they're doing it again. They didn't actually learn anything, and now you've got big people like Wild Crendor complaining that they're doing this. And right now, it seems that the best way, we need like an outside source. We need an outside base that can make sense of what content is on YouTube, because obviously YouTube cannot make any sense of what they've got. And we need a base where people can share their videos. Maybe we can form a group that can reddit each other's videos. So it's time to find a solution, you know? You know, it, it's gotta be out there. So, you know, keep your ears out. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have an excellent week. Uh, it's gonna be hot here in New England once again. So I guess I'll enjoy this nice, hot, sticky weather for as long as it exists, which is probably until September. Alright, have a great day, guys.